there. Oh my god, the temperature just dropped. <laughs> my name is Carolina, this is Carolina's Closet, and I'm on a yearly project of doing a temperature blanket. Um, so yeah, let's do it. But today's day 3 of January, and let's start. Where are my needles? <gasps> do you think I forgot them? Found the needles. I thought I had left them at my friend's house and that would have been tragic. So right now the temperature is uh, 24. 24 is this one, most used so far. Um, and then the low was at 20. Let's use brand new yarn. So that's the minimum. The low at 20, the like, Right now, 24, and the high was at 27, this one. So, I was going to say, basically, um, let's start. Let me manage to do this, because this is hard. Oh, yay, this one was easy. Great. So, today, I came back from my friend's house, and I got so much traffic. And at one point, I was like legit stand still, not walking, just like not walking. Oh, by the way, it's now um, 5.49 p.m. I was driving home from my friend's place and I got in so much traffic. I just honestly considered, not only considered, but I started... I started filming and I started, you know, I gathered up all of the crochet colors, all the colors, everything to kind of crochet while I was standing in traffic because what else could I do? I literally was just like stand still. The temperature is at 32 right now. <laughs> it's my maximum. Literally a second ago, it was at 31. Um... And when I started gathering the stuff, it was at 31. So I will cheat and I will do minimum 25 because that's the actual low, like low, the low temperature, 25. And then I will do the current at 30, 31. Something happened. I think someone popped a tire because I, I heard a loud boom. Um, Yeah. So yeah, I will be doing low 25. I shouldn't do this because if we continue walking at this pace, even though it's like almost nothing, it's unsafe to crochet. I would only crochet if I'm doing literally no walking. Because I'm a safe queen, okay? Do not crochet on traffic. Yeah, it seems like we're going to walk. So it seems like I'm not going to record right now. My bestie said, Estimated timing traffic, 22 minutes. That would be enough for me to do two, three rows. So like this one and then two of the paddles, like the whole paddle thing. However, oh, oh, we w went down. Temperature went down a lot just from the time that I stopped filming. So the thing is, because I'm literally traveling, the temperature keeps changing. And right now we're at a... 28, a 31 high, and a 24 low, which means that my whole setup changes. I wasn't ready for that, and I'm actually walking. I need to stop, because my bestie here says, estimated time in traffic, 22 minutes, and I'm like, am I expected to stay still for 22 minutes? or just walking slowly literally like there's no way for me to crash because like we're going so slow but anyway i think i think it's a hazard isn't it like a safety hazard for me and my peers around me for me to crochet because we're not like stand still stand still we're walking at like five kilometers an hour um and we are stopping, like we're proper stopping right now. Like I see no one walking. Besties, I will crochet. I will crochet. You know, if I was a passenger princess, I'd be done with my temperature blanket for today. 
but I'm not. I have to be that fucking independent queen. I'm not going to crochet, yeah. We got it, we got it. Let's stop filming. Actually, not, not right now. I'll stop filming in just a second and I'll be doing my temperature blanket when I get home. You might be able to see in the footage. Um, I started slowly walking. Like the car started slowly going forward. So I was like, mm, it's not safe for me to just do this. Even though I could because I was so slow still. It was like not safe, obviously, for me to like drive at crochet. Um, so I stopped. But the thing is, that would have been such a different um, square, I mean, <laughs> a different hexagon from the one that I'm doing right now. Because the temperature there, even though it's just like a, you know, normally hour and a half, today, two and a half hours drive from here. It was such a different color range. Like I was going to go and use the 32s. I was going to use the 31s um, Celsius. And right now, because it's much later in the day, so it's like getting to the evening. And it's also, I'm also in a different place. It's so much different. And I like this. Like it'd be fun because I'm also recording it with photos and video. It's fun to like, be like, oh my god, why did the temperature get so high here in this day? And I'd be like, oh, I actually didn't because I was in a different place. Um, but yeah. Also, um, I've been thinking, I want to daily log um, these videos, you know. But I just don't think it's... I don't know. I don't think... Posting a video every day is interesting. Okay, so now I grabbed the color for the 24 degrees and that's the temperature right now. And yes, it's kind of hot. I just was feeling, you know, when your like immunity um, like goes down and you feel like cold. I was feeling like that, but now I'm just, I'm feeling hot in this jumper. I just don't want to take it off. I was thinking, basically, um, I want to be daily logging, just like daily filming. Me doing my little crochets, but I don't know how interesting it will be for me to um, record, um, to post it every day um, on YouTube. Like I just did a compilation of two days, and I think this it was like a good length of video. It was okay for me to edit. Of course, like the first day was a little bit of a different day for me filming. I wasn't talking at all. Um, I don't know. I feel like I'm just not that interesting to come here and like pretty much try to like engage in like storytelling. I don't know. To try to make this um, entertaining. Like I want this to be like a daily, a daily video where we can come here and crochet or do any of our hobbies together. But at the same time, I'm like, mm, am I the good host for this? Am I entertaining enough? I was thinking of like maybe going on Reddit and searching up stories and commenting here while I did this crochet or maybe just going on like some because I'm very interested in fashion. I do make clothes um, <laughs> to sell. I really like knowing about, you know, the fashion industry. You know, I mean, uh, in a way, like I'm interested to a point. I'm definitely not like a French fashion nerd like a lot of people are. Um, I'm much more interested in the making and like in fibers and construction, things like that, and like making my outfits. But I'm still somewhat interested in fashion, in like fashion news and things like that. And you know, um, like go on business of fashion and like comment on something that's happening in the fashion world. I'm always so interested when like Something that is like fashion world, like really goes out. Because I feel like fashion is that kind of midway thing where like it's very, very prevalent in like pop culture. Like everything has fashion. Like when it comes to like celebrity culture, pop culture, things like that. Everything in a way or another like includes fashion um, in a way. But at the same time, 
lots of people don't really like are not really interested in like the ins and outs of fashion it's just like you know like oh cool this dress or cool that cool that or maybe oh that's outrageous like why is this so expensive um or like the like recent thing that happened with Valenciaga that was really serious and people were like really talking about it because it's really serious um I don't know like it's really it's it's interesting I feel like those this kind of like barrier that fashion has like it's an in-between like you can you can be so into fashion and know about like the uh, specificities of like every single house or like main house and all of the styles and you can be able to like tell um like shows apart just by like looking at a photo like this takes inspiration from this collection of like this artist I feel like that's a skill like that's so interesting I'm not like that I don't have that level of knowledge and fashion um and then like when that gets you know that kind of content I feel like you know kind of <laughs> I know what I'm trying to say but like when people who are not into these kind of like knowledge about fashion um talk about just like the mainstream happenings in fashion that like get people you know fired up I know it's interesting I feel like obviously this is a year project and I will be doing this for the whole year, I'm telling you. But I just don't know how much of it is interesting for it to be like posted, you know? Um, yeah, for, like, for these few days, I'm thinking I'm just doing two days, like compilations and then seeing how it goes. <laughs> Okay, I'm just about to finish with like the edge and I had such an issue with these um the 27 degrees um little roll of yarn and I hate when I have to like cut yarn like this like ugh, I don't like wasting yarn I'm finishing this and I'll show you in just a second I'm actually like so hot like I'm feeling physically hot um because I have this like gigantic jumper that I'm wearing midsummer. I don't know why. Um, and I'm starting to sweat, but I don't want to stop. Okay? I don't want to stop. So I will be showing you right now where this, like how this one looks. And I will then jump straight to tomorrow and tomorrow's granny square so see you in just one second hey there people hi temperature blanketers i don't know <laughs> how are y'all doing it's the next day it's the 4th of january and if i manage to post this video today we're all caught up you know um so right now it's almost 1 p.m. Wait, one minute to 1 p.m. And the temperature right now is at 23. Whoop. The low today is at 18. So it's a bit of a colder day. Let's use a brand new yarn that we haven't used yet. This one. I mean, it's the fourth day. There are a bunch of yarns I haven't worn yet, used yet. And the high is at 24. So right now, 23, 24, 18 in this order. And we still haven't got a minute. It's almost 1. Oh, 1 p.m. Got it. I haven't really picked it up from the UC yet. So this is going to be fun. I love when I pick it right and it doesn't like get out with a lot of like extra, like sometimes like a little ball pops out. I don't like it. Oh, uh. see, like this. I don't like it when it comes like this. 
on yesterday once I started a new yarn as well and I managed to get just like just the tippy top like just this little one here here and that's ideal obviously you know that you know that this is a beautiful aquarium color a little beautiful blue on uh, one of my only blues have very few blues here as I mentioned I wanted to go from green to pink only but um that wasn't I was I didn't have enough yarn as much as I wanted for this project in just those colors so I added the blue added the purples three, four. I'm actually in a bit of a hurry, so let's see if I can finish this really fast. Yesterday, um, wait, one, two. I think I said I was going to put it on screen, but I'll just tell you. I managed to do the whole um, hexagon with detangling because I got a little bit of a tangled yarn there. And I'm famously known for like having trouble with tangled yarn. Um, in just um, 33 minutes so that's like my ideal like what I wanted to achieve with these like at a time like you know a timely fashion because I think like half an hour is good it's a chunk of time that I usually will have in a day to you know do this and not get like insanely bored and tired of it I was thinking I was saying yesterday that I want to bring something like to talk about here so that I don't like just speed up the the footage and it's not like boring so we can like you know you can actually um watch this while you crochet and it's interesting um like a white noise or something six oh I actually did this a bit wrong but it will be like this so I'm, I made like one extra stitch when I did the circle here see it's a little too big I just oh, I really don't have time to like go back this one's going to be a damaged one <laughs> poor thing i was thinking about bringing some like reddit stories or something like to be honest i don't really consume that much reddit i usually go on um i watch like youtube videos so right now is at 23 right yeah 23 so i usually do go on like youtube videos and listen to people um bringing up like am i the asshole like forum page um like stories or other kinds of um, Reddit communities that don't really usually go myself on Reddit and like listen and like read stories. I'm interested in like people talking about it. So I feel like maybe I'll just, I will be interested in reading. And I've been thinking there, I know there are a few Reddit forums on like um, knitting, crochet, sewing. And I thought maybe I could find some stories on reddit and bring them here to talk about and while I crochet like for this half an hour that I crochet here with you guys and also like the crochet cam I'm thinking like I'm um, seeing how I would do that if I find some some way to do that because I feel like that would be cool to just have because it's such a thin small little crochet um, that you can see what I'm doing as I'm like doing it more closely, I guess. Yeah, um, if you follow any Reddit um, communities, or not even Reddit, like communities that are like based on crafts and yarns, and not only that, but sewing, fashion, and fashion related things, let me know. Or if you would rather me just gossip, because I love consuming a good gossip. I do. Um, <laughs> and we could just gossip together about anything and uh, crochet while we do that. Like, isn't that what we do when we crochet? Like, we just put on podcasts and um, series. Obviously, like, this is not as, like, well, like, production value, but I think it'd be nice to gossip while we make this. I love to, like, t tell stories, but, like, I'm not, I'm not someone with, like, very interesting life so far you know I've had I feel like maybe not the average I feel like saying the average life is just so uh, like what is the average life people like live different lives like lives every day like it's weird to say oh I've lived the average life but I don't think I've had that many interesting things <laughs> that I could talk about um oh yeah <laughs> Okay.
Okay, this is fast. It was 13 minutes. Let's go for the last color that is 24. It's the high of the day. Yeah, 24. Oh, the low just went down to 17, but I had started it. When did I start it? At 1. <laughs> At 1. Um, so, yeah. Oh, something else that I think I wanted to say was that this this channel here is more than like the crochet like granny granny blanket um thing. I have loads of ideas of like tutorials and like things that I want to make and maybe record for like inspiration's sake um that I would like to be bringing to this channel. And in fact, later today I want to be recording a video that um uh, an idea that I have that I want to make because I'm used to doing so many like um long like long-winded projects that just take too long to make and I want to be making like faster things that I can just like make and um have and like post I guess just because I like making things and it's more motivating when like I'm able to finish something in like a day or two um, of course, like, when you talk knit, crochet, like, this is a year project. Like, it's not going to be done until the very end of December. Um, but sometimes it's nice to just have ideas and make things that are a little bit faster, you know, that take a few hours instead of, like, a few days. And it's complicated because, you know, fiber art is, is just something that takes time. You know, art in general is something that takes time to make, create things. Even, like, if you just think about it, like, if... It goes from my idea all the way to like getting the crafts, um, getting the um, the materials and, you know, being able to actually do it. Maybe you have to require some new knowledge that you didn't have prior. All of that is just a lot of time that goes into the creative process of like most things um, in general, especially when it comes to like things that are physical, like, you know, fiber art, sewing, crocheting, knitting even like drawing, painting, a lot of things. But there are things in this kind of thing, like this crafts that you can be done faster, you know? Um, and I just feel like there is space for both things, like things that take long, things that take less time. But yeah, like as an aspiring person like who is aspiring to the YouTube, I, feel like I need to be bringing projects that are easier, more like casual to make and that I can make, you know, in less time as well so that I can, you know, put up more content because I like creating content. It's really fulfilling for me to like be posting a lot, actually, like with this like daily crochet. It's really fulfilling to like pick up the camera. I like it, like picking up the camera once a day and just being like, oh, I'm filming right now. It's fun. I like filming. I don't know. I think it's nice. So this is how it looks. Let's do the very end. This one. Um, where is my yarn? Okay. If you're interested in a fun new project, tune up tomorrow or the day after. Actually, just like you know, subscribe to this channel and um, turn on the notification so that you can get a video of mine. Just maybe, just in case you want to. <laughs> While you're doing that, you can always just like like the video and comment down below, you know, your thoughts and opinions. <laughs>I set myself half an hour to do this and I have six minutes. Let's just stuck in the yarn. Um, but let me just take a photo first. So this would have been the third and fourth day of my temperature blanket. So let's take a photo with four. I will, I don't know, like I think I'm probably not going to be taking photos of all of them every day. <laughs> Cause go, I'm going to run out of hands. I'm already running out of hands right now. Okay. And I'll just stick in my yarn. And I will be done for today. Um, I think I'll be joining them every week. So as the week ends, I will join them. I have them always stacked up 
in order and also I have a video log telling me what day it is and what the, each one was for each day. So that will be it for this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Let me know your opinions, your thoughts, like about, you know, um, commentary um, topics, you know, what could I be talking about while doing this to bring here like a, a daily routine of crocheting with you guys um, that are watching me. Um, let me know if you go on Reddit for like craft related topics. Let me know because I, I know that are juicy. I remember I saw I went to one um, Reddit tr uh, forum for like crafts like this and people were wild there. People were ruthless and maybe that will be fun to read here. Uh, but I forgot the name of the forum, the Reddit forum. Anyway, um, this is it for today. Um, don't forget to subscribe, um, click the notification bell so that you can know when I post videos. I will be leaving my social media here on the side and as well as um, in the description down below as a link so that you can go and follow me on those as well. Um, all of that being said, I hope you had a nice day. Um, I hope you did a little bit of a craft, if when it was crocheting, knit, anything that you did, let me know down in the comments. and. That is it. Have a lovely day. Have a lovely rest of the week. Have a lovely year. See you all.